what it is. This is your boy Tunchi, and this is YBE. You already know. Let's get into this business. We today we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of training, being a trainer. But before we get into that, we gotta pay some bills. Go to www.ybetv. YBETV.org slash shop. We got the business marketing course, the business credit course, the business bundle. We got mentor the mentorship program where you can get me on retainer and I can help you in your trucking career. We got paraphernalia for your company. We make logos. We do phone numbers. We do setups. All we do the setup. We will set your business up for you. From bottom to top. What else do we do, sir? We do a lot of stuff. Um, last but not least, make sure you guys come out to Myrtle Beach. July 26th through the 28th, we are having a thing. It's going to be me. It's going to be Ghost from Steel Hawking. We, we, we about to tear it down, man. And, and my homegirl, Alicia, Alicia Harley, she's been working real hard. She's getting even more YouTube truckers to that venue. That's all I'm going to say. If you want more information on it, go on my Facebook page and you can see the flyer or just hit me up, man. Hit me up and ask more information. I got like a million ways down here that you can hit me up. All right. The pros and cons of truck. Um, This is what I'm going to say. When it comes to trucking, I mean, not the pros and cons of trucking, the pros and cons of training. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is only water, y'all. This is only water. All right. When you out here training, let's go. Let's go first. Let's start off with the negative. Easy. A lot of these companies take advantage of trainers. When you got the CR Englands, the Primes, and all this, they basically have you training their students, they uh, they employees for them. For free. Now, you name me one place in this world where you can go and you can send somebody to a trainer to use their equipment and you don't pay them for it. I think that should be illegal. The way that these companies, like England, CR England is so terrible, they actually make you pay them. In my fool. They actually make you pay them. Yeah. You got to pay them like $191 every week. Let's see. These are delicious. These are vegetarian tacos they are amazing mm -hmm. so yeah it's horrible they have you do all this and they the only person benefit from it in a sense okay so that's like okay that's comparable to me to um free labor so they get that out of you okay that's bad Second thing is you putting a novice into a very dangerous piece of equipment and depending on how fast they catch on, how willing they are to learn and how patient they are, they put you in a very dangerous situation. Yes. Yes, they can. It's very dangerous to train because if he just turn that corner too fast, over goes the truck, you know? That's very dangerous. So, I was a trainer for over five years. Believe you me, I have been in some sticky situations with some students. But, on the other side of it, it can be amazing. Would I tell someone to train? Yes, I would. If you are a person, and let's say you got your own authority, and you are a trainer at CR England. You run a little dedicated run. You're comfortable with it. And say you get a situation where you like, okay, uh, you run from Illinois to California and you come back. And then you go home and you make enough money. Now, on one side of the negative, you beat your truck down a lot more. You're putting double the miles on it and the a lot of the time, you're not compensated. A lot of them guys is running 7,000 miles, 6,500 miles with CR England, and they are bringing home a check for 2,800 bucks. 
I cannot make this up. They making close to three grand and running 7,000 miles, 72, 7,500 miles, 6,800 miles in one week and training and bringing home close to three grand. They supposed to be bringing like eight, nine thousand dollars home. Off that much, they should be bringing that much home. They should be making at least $1.75 a mile and bringing home a really, really good paycheck, five, six thousand at least. So England is getting over on them, and you got more maintenance, which means that that 2800 really ain't 2800 because you're putting 7,000 miles on your truck. But one of the pros, you get a funnel. What do you mean by funnel, Toon? I said you get a funnel. I didn't stutter. What's the funnel? You get access to a live-in interview. What? How many people have you interviewed from a job and you get to live with them for 30 days? Like this is a... Man, like, just imagine if Apple started doing that. Just how you doing today, sir? I'm like, how you doing? I'm a cartoon dude. All right. Uh, well, what we're going to be doing is uh, I want you to move in my house for 30 days, and I'm going to get to know you and see if I'm going to hire you. They'd be like, sir, this is sexual harassment. This dude just asked to live with me. Exactly. Think of it on that note. You get the guy on the truck. You say, all right, come on in. And then you get to teach him how you want your equipment ran. Oh, my God. He get on the truck. He's like, man, somebody in school is telling me about floating. You say, nah, bro. You don't float, man. Mess up your transmission, man. Let's just say if that. Some people float. Some people don't. I'm just saying if you, you train. Man, it mess up transmission, man. Look, double clutch. It's easy on the trans. Like this. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And you keep on showing it, and he's learning. You drive, you pay attention to the road, you stay off the phone while you driving. Then he's starting to do it. And then you let him know, like, uh-uh, you don't do that. You don't do, you no know texting while you're driving, bro. Like, nah, bro, nah, don't do that. You get caught, this is what's going to happen. They start to build those habits. Then you notice that after a while, the majority of your students end up driving just like you because you're teaching them how to operate this piece of machinery which means that you didn't train them 30 days you see how they live you know understand their family life because you're hearing all their conversations you understand so many different things about them you get to know them what about personal hygiene i know the students that don't like to wash up because i used to have to say hey bro like we all gotta get in the shower today bro like bro i'm I'm starting to smell you, my dude. Like, we, we no, uh-uh. Oh, man, my bad, man. Uh-uh. Yeah, you're bad. I know if I smell you, you smell you, bro. So I know personal hygiene. Cleaning habits. One, sometimes I get people on there. I go to the truck stop, come back. They, I go in the truck stop, come back, the whole truck clean. I'm like, what? Like, man, no, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? We got a little downtime, so I took this time to, um, okay. So I took this time to. Uh, a clean up a little bit perfect so you get that guy you know the company not if they paying you these scraps for training you know they ain't paying nothing to the company drivers so you say hey well after you finish this you know i could uh, put you on with my trucking company bro i just come over here to interview students like for real like yeah man call this person right here man they definitely you know this this and this Call some muscle. Yeah, I used to work there too, man. And I, I'm over here. I'm making $10, 11 12 13 $1,400 a week, $1,500, $1,500, $1,700 a week working for this guy. You got the training process. It is a great funnel, man. Like, I, I met a lot of good people at CR England, man. And they are no longer with CR England. So I'm just telling you that you already know this is your boy, Tunchi, signing off from YBE TV. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Why be? Drug dealing and killing is going on in my town. Yeah, don't take a killer to kill or a driller to drill. So just being yourself is the definition of real.